method, it now spins a whole lot freer. Hello everybody, I am Ben from Team Panic. Bearings are great things and Annie uses these skateboard bearings in her weapon stack up just to make sure that everything runs freely. Now, this here is a fairly standard set of bearings that you'll find online anywhere. If you order just a generic bulk lot, they normally come in these weird tubes for some reason. Uh, but as they come from factory, they are honestly rubbish. If I mark one of these up, uh, you see that when I try and spin the thing, it doesn't actually spin very far at all. Here we go. It spins basically as long as I'm touching it for. And that is because these things come packed full of grease. Now, the grease is there to keep these things working for a long, long period of time. But in combat robot applications, we only need them to work for three minutes and we want them to be as low friction as possible. The other thing that uh, this grease can do is if you spin them too fast, which often happens in a weapon stack up, it goes everywhere. It leaks out from underneath the seal and it just disappears. So we're going to fix this problem with a few basic tools. We have a glass jar, some isopropyl alcohol, and some three-in-one oil. This stuff is, I think, actually sewing machine oil. I picked it up from a craft and hobby supply shop, uh, and it works amazingly well. It's also the stuff that a lot of people recommend if you are uh, working on a 3D printer. So it's good stuff to have around if you've got the tools and equipment. The other thing that I have here is a very small Phillips head screwdriver, because literally all we're gonna do here is we're going to take the Phillips head screwdriver and pop these seals out of the bearing. Now this can be a little bit fidgety, you just need to basically jam the uh, Phillips head screwdriver in the bottom and while these seals look like they are rubber, they're actually not. They are a rubber over top of a metal outer, so you're actually going to need to bend it to get it out, uh, which does take a little bit of effort and eventually though you, hit a, you do find a good spot and just dig it on out of there. There we go. So these are a metal ring with a rubber outer and yeah, kind of gross when you pull them all out of there. Speaking of gross, here is what the inside of these bearings looks like. Just absolutely packed full of grease. Now, there is a seal on the other side of this bearing as well, so we need to get rid of that too. Okay, now that we've de-sealed our bearings, we're gonna throw these in the glass jar, uh, and we are going to cover them in isopropyl alcohol. That is the next step, and then we're just gonna let this hang out, these bearings hang out in the isopropyl alcohol for a little while, basically to clean all of that gunk out of there, all of that oil that they put in from factory is all you get washed away. Uh, you can shake this round and stuff. I personally just kind of leave it for a few hours, just let it soak uh, and get all of that oil out of there. A few hours later and things are looking good in there. I'm seeing a bit of floating particulate and stuff, which I think means most of the grease has kind of been washed out of there. So we're going to grab these bearings back out here one at a time. Um, oh, actually, no, these need a little bit longer. There's still just a bit of grease in them, which isn't great. I might even just see if I can like, oh, they are freed up quite a lot. So even though there's a bit of grease still in them, they're actually doing a lot better. I've decided that I'm impatient. So grabbed an old toothbrush. We're gonna dunk it in the alcohol and we're just gonna scrub out the last of this oil just do everything we can to make this clean up and stop doing what it's currently doing. Okay, that's about probably about as good as we're gonna get using this method. It now spins a whole lot freer. And the final step, as I mentioned, was to just add just a couple of drops of oil into here. Again, this is just a three-in-one uh, all-purpose machining oil. Uh, again, which a lot of people use for 3D printing. And I just add a couple of drops on either side. Uh, and then once I've done that, give it a quick spin to kind of incorporate the oil and get everything together. And we have got our one very, very good 
ready to use bearing, which spins very, very freely. If I um, clean this up just a little bit, get rid of any excess oil, another quick dab with the cloth. And do our little test from before. We see that we get a lot of spin with a single push of a finger now. Whereas we were getting like a quarter of a turn before, we are now just getting a good spin. There we go. I'm going to finish up these and probably actually finish off this whole tube so that I've got some good bearings to take with me to my next event. And there you go.